Okay, welcome to England's post-match press conference with Marat, Captain Owen Farrell, and to his right coach, Steve Borthwick. If we could take the first question, please raise your hand. Yeah, just there on the right-hand side. Uh, Steve, uh, I know in first uh, commiserations, that was a, an incredible effort from you. Uh, can you just sum up your, your feelings about the, the, in, the, sh the way your players have performed today? Because I'm not sure what else you could have given as a team. Um, yeah, sat here, sat here disappointed, but um, unbelievably proud. Unbelievably proud of what this, this group's done over the past uh, five months together. Um, it's not all it's not all gone our way, but to to build up to a performance like we did today, uh, ultimately to 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 come short to a to a to a great team like South Africa. But um, yeah, I, I'm sat here disappointed, but but unbelievably proud of of what this group's done. Here in the front row, please. Steve, if we'd have um, said before the game that um, you were going to give South Africa a run for their money up front, um, a few people might not have seen quite the dominance that England got. We got people like George Martin really stepping up. What have you got to say about that forward performance? It was something quite exceptional. I think, I think the whole team performance was, was strong. We're disappointed. We, we came here with a plan to win the game and we fell, we fell a little bit short. Uh, not far short, but a little bit short. So we're, we're desperately disappointed with it. But I think, as Owen talked about there, the, the players should be incredibly proud of, of what they have done and continue to do as they represent England rugby. What sort of a platform do you think you've got now to springboard um, the rest of England's season and also um, your personal journey uh, as England head coach? Well, I think as you... As you look at the team, it was, I think in that team today, in that 23, I think there were seven players at 25 or under. Um, that's the most of any of the semi-finalists. Uh, I think South Africa had won 25 or under. So I think that there's, a, there's a great blend within this squad and there'll be lots of things we'll take as we go forward from this. Um, we put ourselves in the position to win the semi-final against the current world champions and the current uh, world number one. So the players um, done very well. We're obviously disappointed because we thought we were going to win. Yeah, I'm on the right. S Steve uh, Jan de Koning, Rugby 365. Um, what specifically about this Springbok team makes it so difficult? We saw against France last week as well. They, they seem to never give up and they seem to, to have... What specifically is it about them that makes them so difficult to overcome? Well, quite clear that the, the, the current world champions and current world number one for a reason. They're all very good players and they're very experienced. Um, so it was a it was a tough test match tonight, and I think everybody everybody watches that game will think that's a that's a proper test match, and I think the the millions of people who are watching that around the world will think that was a, that was an intense encounter. Um, with this point, we came out on the wrong side of it. Hi, Owen. Um, up, 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 aside from the defeat, the, the how much do you enjoy it as a contest? And can I just ask what happened at the end with with Willie Larue? Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing. Just a misunderstanding. Um, yeah, no. The, the contest was always going to be a good one. Um, I think. I think we knew that. We knew that before the game. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm. As I said, as I said before, we're we're sat we're sat here disappointed um, from the result. Um, I thought. I thought the. I thought the fight that we showed throughout throughout the game again. Um, mm -hmm. We thought we thought we'd done. We thought we we might have done enough to win, but uh, unfortunately, we South Africa had a bit to say in that. So, uh, congratulations to them. Did, did you feel you had them rattled in the first half, especially? Pardon? Did you, did you feel you had them rattled in the first half? I, I felt like we were playing well. I felt like we were we were playing to our plan. I felt like we were we were showing what we were capable of, and uh, to do that on a on a, a stage like this in the semi final is exactly what you want. Go ahead, Nick. Steve, commiserations with the result, but uh, congratulations on the performance. Um, any complaints with the scrum penalties at the end? Um, obviously, that they were kind of 
they sort of took their toll, didn't they? But um, so firstly, just on that, and then secondly, uh, the performance overall, do you effectively very nearly delivered, I suppose, exactly what you were looking for? And uh, how much, from where you started to where you ended this tournament or where you're at now, how much growth have you seen in this, in this uh, team and squad? I'm trying to remember, I think there's three questions in there. I'm trying to remember them all, so <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I get them wrong, you just nudge me. Um, number one around the scrum, no, I won't. I think the question was any issues. Now's not the time to be talking about things like that. And now is the time just to just have the overall reflections. Um, question two was which one? I've always been proud of these players and I'm proud to be involved in with the England rugby team. Um, I know I'll have at home a couple of young boys who are going to be bitterly disappointed and I'm sure there's lots of people around that are proud but also gutted back in England. I'm sure there's lots of millions of people that are. What, and I've said this to you before, I care about these players, I care about these supporters and I care about English rugby. And what I see is a group of guys who are doing as much as they possibly can to to have the uh, um, to set an example, to build a team, to have supporters proud of them, and they're led by this man next to me, who I think has been a and continues to be a phenomenal player and an incredible leader of this team. Yeah, uh, Steve, can I just ask about um, George Martin and his performance? You put him in, you know, a massive. Uh, occasion for him, but um, your thoughts on how he did? I thought he played really well, and um, I, I thought there was a good number of outstanding performances out there today. Um, George is another young player, 22 years old, I think, who I think I, I certainly would hope to see him in an England shirt for many, many years to come. Yep. Hi, Steve. Um, how are Ellis Genge and Carl Signey talk about? how much you care about the, the team and are they hurting just because it came down to a scrum penalty? Maybe not their fault, but they'll feel responsible, I suppose. We were all disappointed. We came here tonight to win a game, to go to the um, to the World Cup final next Saturday and we've fallen short. Um, I think we all truly believed we could do it. We we're going to do it and we came very close to doing it. So so it's uh, it's yeah, it hurts for all of us. I think the thing with that and is in, in, in adversity, in these tough times, there's usually some seed of it in there that will grow and be something brilliant in the future. Now, w right now it's too, it's too early for me to be finding that seed, that, that, but I'll, we'll make sure we find it. We'll make sure that we, we take some of what we find tonight, some of what we've gone through tonight, we'll make sure we grab that and we'll, we'll make sure it makes us stronger in the future. In the middle at the back. Um, Steve, what do you feel changed the course of the game in the last 10 to 15 minutes? And also, if you think that this kind of game plan is kind of embedded in the English rugby DNA? I'll say firstly, in terms of the analysis of the game, I'm not going to go into an analysis of the game now. Because I'll, I'll go through it in detail and I'll be able to do a proper analysis. And if you want to chat later in the week, I'll give you a proper analysis of the game. Um, the, the, as for the, the game plan tonight, as for how we've come as a team, you know, you're, we're playing against a team there that's had a coaching team that's been in place since the middle of 2018. They had 18 months to the World Cup. And won, they did an incredible achievement to win the 2019 World Cup. And there's had four years since then of continuous development, bringing players through. And the coaching team has been really, really consistent. For us, we've had four months as a coaching team with, these, with the players. And the, I've asked the players to approach training in a different way. I've asked them to approach the way we think about the game in a different way. And um, for, to ask them to do that and the players to be willing to change, I think that's all credit to them. And because they have been willing to change, they have been willing to try some different things. And tonight was another example of that. And, um, I'm really grateful to them for the attitude they bring every day. Thank you. Any further questions? Right, just on the left. 
Um, Steve, was the... Sorry, no, you finish. <laughs> was the... Was the game plan, when was that put in place for tonight specifically and, and how much did the weather play into that? Uh, we first met as a team to approach this game on, I think it was Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning? Yeah. Tuesday morning. And then we trained, we trained Tuesday afternoon and we trained Thursday. I think he was asking about the weather, whether that impacted your choice. Okay, well, well, we, we knew there was the weather, we knew, knew there was a good chance of some rain um, uh, tonight. So the, the weather forecast said that, so that obviously is an impact upon it. You can't guarantee what the weather's going to be, but it certainly has. You have to bear that into when, you, when you're planning how you wish to play. Okay. I'm not seeing any further <laughs> hands raised, so thank you very much, Stephen Owen, for your time. Thank, thank you. you.